Ron Clark, ready for your first day? Yes, ma'am. I'll be with you in a minute, and I'll introduce you to your class. Hi. What happened to you? Cedro says I can't learn, so I should go with the trash. Okay, settle down. Let's get out our silent reading. I'm Mr. Clark. What's your name? Hadley Craig. Nice to meet you. Uh, you know, I'm so sorry. I'm so forgetful. What's my name again? It's Mr. Clark. Oh, see? You just learned something. Let's get you out of there. Mr. Clark? Yeah? Is you gonna be our new teacher? We'll arrive at Swan Quarter about five, like we always do. Pick up the shrimp bait at the general store, like we always do, and hop the ferry over to Ocracoke Island for some fine flounder fishing. Like we always do. Well, folks, it's not quite the end of the year summer celebration we expected. But let's take a moment to thank our own Mr. Clark whose fifth grade class tested number one in Beaufort County for the fourth year in a row. And we have a surprise that we have put together for you. Unfortunately, it's outside. <laughs> Y'all know Mr. Clark began here as a temporary teacher. Well, We've all chipped in on something to help him feel more permanent. I love it here, but I've got to move on, Mom, before they use that parking space for my grave. New York public schools are desperate for good teachers. Newspaper says they're begging for them. Dad, every year I tell my students to go for what they want in life. Dream big, take risks. It's time I started living up to my own words. Oh. I'm going to miss you guys, but I got to go. We understand, sweetie. <laughs> People get killed in New York. This is Radio Roanoke, where the sun is shining and the temperature is 78 degrees. And the night sounds start to whisper. News and sports in five, Baltimore, but now let's get ready to rock and roll with the smoke and red. That was the mellow midnight voice of Johnny Hartman. This is WNYC in New York City. Next up, something cool on a hot night. Rent's due at 10. Cash only. Check out at 11.30. Okay, this is great. And uh, what's your name? Yolanda. Thank you, Yolanda. Hi.
Good morning. Good morning. Yolanda, good morning. Do you have a list of the public schools in Harlem? Sure I do, baby. Okay, thank you. So what do you want school listings for? I'm a teacher. And you want to teach? Up in Harlem? Yes. Well then, honey, you gonna need something else. Personal injury lawyers. Cause once your way behind goes on up in there, they'll be carrying you back up the same way you went in. What kind of foolishness is this going on up there that I'm trying to teach? You know I ain't gonna get to me. Okay, I'm thank you. Thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. But if you could just look at my resume. I apologize. We just don't have a position available. All right, but all my kids tested above grade level. I'm sure they did. And good luck to you. So, my merry men and ladies, let us steal from the rich and help a poor, brave waiter go henceforth into the kitchen and command your dinners. Nice hat. Distracts the customers from that accent. Hey, watch out. I got a bow and arrow. What show are you in? Everybody who works here is an actor. I'm a teacher. You are going to change before your first class, right? Very funny. How about you? Me? Oh, I'm taking a break from acting. The Cleopatra gig is very challenging. Hey, uh, who's that? It's the Queen of Egypt, in love with Mark Antony. No, uh, I mean, uh, who is that? Marissa, and she's even more beautiful out of costume. I'm Jason, otherwise known as Mark Antony. Sorry. It happens all the time, bro. Don't sweat it. Mitchell, my office now. I'm not playing with your son. I ain't no son. Mr. Sauce, what the hell was that? That boy's your student. Not anymore. Hey, you walk away, you stay away. You can have the little bastards. I can start right now. You're lucky you got detention and not an assault charge. Hello, I'm Ron Clark. I wanted to let you know I taught fifth grade for four years in North Carolina. You need a teacher, I need a job, so let's help each other out. Uh, Mr. Clark, I'm sure you're very sincere, but I'm afraid you might be a little too... Too what? Too white, too tall, too ugly? Nice. I specialize in raising standardized test scores. This is the honors class. These students score in the top 10 percentile of the state exams every year. We divide each grade into four classes according to their achievement scores. What about this class? This class tested at the bottom of the entire New York City School District. They do seem a little bit squirrely. Oh, they're a bit more than squirrely. 
These students have problems with learning, discipline, social skills, like Tayshawn Mitchell. Two strikes going on three towards the juvenile detention center. I'm your man. I have an opening in grade three. If your credentials check You have an opening right here. No. Last year, this class went through six different teachers before Christmas. Yes, nobody wants them and I do, so what's the problem? Test scores are very important to me. It's how I keep my job. I can start right now. You can start on Monday. State exams are in May. Yo, man! Yeah, yeah. I come back here tomorrow. I think she likes me. High five, bro. Want a break? Two hundred bucks and nothing. Jeez, you should have heard them in there. Oh, Cleo, we got your snake right here, and then they just stiff me. One half? Yeah, sure. You're a teacher, Clark. What is it? I mean, why don't guys grow up? Lou, I'm afraid my level of expertise expires at the sixth grade. You got a job. Inner Harlem Elementary. I'm going to start meeting my kids tomorrow. Uh, you might want to hold on to this. Maybe your last meal. No, they're going to love me. I'd like to meet all the parents, Miss Vasquez, before I start teaching. Julio! To get them involved. Uh, Julio! Who met? Who is he? He a clown, Mr. Clark. But he's a good boy. I had him when I was only 14. <laughs> That's okay. Like, like I was saying. What? I, I was just saying. You can help out by working with Julio every night on his homework. Sure. OK. <laughs> Together, we can get him excited about learning. American history. The solar system, pre-algebra. I just want Julio to achieve his full potential. So, Mr. Clark, are you married? <laughs> no. It's very nice to meet you all today. You know, I've never had a student from India before. How do you pronounce your name? Badria. I like to read, especially Quite when. Quite lucky. Men are talking, okay? Mr. Clark, your new teacher. I called earlier. It's Saturday, fool. Jamaica, who is it? Nobody. Oh, are those your brothers? No, they're my kids. I'm 12 years old and I got three kids. Who are you talking to? I'm Mr. Clark, Shamika's new teacher. What the hell happened to Mr. Solis? Fool quit. He's wet. I swear to God, your teachers come in and out of this school. Yeah, I, I know that. that. That's why I'm here. I was hoping you would work with me. I already got a job, mister. I got two jobs and four kids and a brother on parole. I'm late for work.
Morning. Nice to see you, Tayshawn. Oh, hello. I'm Ron Clark. I guess I'll be teaching. Yo, dream pick about what? Big butts? You dream about your mama. Take your seats. Yo, teacher. Shamika's feeling sick today. Yeah, sick of damn teachers. <laughs> okay, because this is our first day, I have a surprise for all of you. What? I'll tell you, Julio, if you turn around. Today, there will be no schoolwork. Shamika, don't do that. Shamika, don't. Well, what? What are you gonna do? Suspend me? Go ahead, suspend me. I wanna leave. You don't wanna leave. Hey, look, the fool's leaving already. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. You see this? This means that this year is going to be different. This year is going to be about more than school. This year, we are going to be a family. But you don't look nothing like me. <laughs> I am going to be your family, and you are going to be my family. And that means that I am not leaving, and you are not leaving. Stupid. Who vandalized this room? I did, sir. Mrs. Clark, this sort of stunt may have gone over big in Aurora, but it doesn't work for me. My school, my rules, my way. Okay, to your left. Left, more left. They're just testing you. They want to see if you really care. See if I care. They weren't even looking at me. Well, one of them was, but I think he was picturing me in a dark alley. We have to turn this. Ow! Uh, ow, ow! Do these legs come out? All right. 
I think it looks good right there. You know, school's supposed to be exciting. Okay. Now you sound like one of those dumbass commercials that used to come on at the cartoons on Saturday morning. So what, you didn't like school? School sucked. I hated it. Yeah, well, if I was your teacher, you would have loved it. <clears throat> Ron, just relax. Step away from the table. Yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> So, now that you helped me move, I guess I have to be your drive you to the airport, feed your fish, never forget your birthday kind of friend. Uh, not to mention my cover my weekend shift because I'm going to L.A. with Jason friend. He's going to meet some producers, you know, he's trying to get out of the daytime heartthrob thing. So, how long have you two been going out? Almost two years. Oh. I mean, we're not living together or anything. He's busy, I'm busy, but it's good. Yeah, it sounds good. All right, well, we got three hours before our shift. Who's hungry? Oh, so you're a union mover. This is gonna cost me a pizza, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Can I have your attention, please? No, not really. Before we start today, I would like to go over three rules for this class. If you follow them, we will all have a lot of fun. Yeah. If you do not follow them, there will be consequences. You all remember rule number one, we are a family. Give me a damn break, man. We're not in kindergarten. That means we help each other out. We stand up for each other, we defend each other. Rule number two, we respect each other. Hey. You will call me sir, not man, not dog, not fool. If you are asked a question, you will say yes sir or no sir, not yep, nope, uh-uh, nuh-uh. Uh, nuh-uh, uh, nuh fool. Respect, Julio Vasquez. You will not talk unless I call on you. If I am talking, you are listening with your eyes right here. Rule number three. We will form a line to enter and exit class and go to lunch. Come on, are you kidding me? Shamika? What? What, sir? Oh, Shamika, thank you. For what? Reminding me about rule number four. No smacking of lips and rolling of the eyes. If you break one of these rules, your name will go up on the board. So stupid. If you break another rule, you will get a check. If you break a third rule. Oh. Hey. Hmm. Hi. What you reading? Nothing. I didn't read that book till high school. Man, it's odds ten to one. That's big bucks, man. That's big bucks. What's Julio doing? Taking bets on you. On me. When you're gonna quit? My source says he's gonna be gone by Friday. Gambling is illegal, especially when you're 12. And by the way, I'm not leaving. Yo, come on, dog. I'm supposed to make some paper out here. Boy, something smells really good in here. Could I ask a favor of you ladies? I just wanted to uh, know if... Uh... Dr. King talked about justice rolling down like waters. Here, pass this around, guys. And righteousness like a mighty stream. It's like on a uh, hot day when you go outside and whoosh, somebody opens up a fire hydrant and there's water streaming all over the place and everybody's running around and going crazy. That's what Dr. King wanted justice and freedom to feel like. So, tonight, after we've gone over Dr. King's speech, I want you all to start a journal about your dreams and aspirations. Hey, man, it's Locke, what's up? Rule number three, we all line up to go to the lunchroom. You know what, here's my rule. 
I ain't standing no line. Oh, okay, Shamika. But because we are all a family, if one of us doesn't get in line for the lunchroom, then none of us gets lunch. Very quietly, two lines right up against the wall. It's good. It's good. Nice and quiet. Oh, looks like somebody's not hungry. Stop fighting. Let's go. No talking. And stop. Shamika, did you cut in line? No, sir. I did not. You do know that I have eyes in the back of my head, right? I was here. Ask her. Stupid. All right, we're all going to stand here until Shamika decides to tell the truth. You're in Mr. Clark's class. No food. Uh. Yo, come on, Mr. Clark. I'm starving, man. I'm about to faint out in the Julio, get to the back of the line. And take that hat off. Yeah. It's up to you whether we eat or not. Shamika, this is a family. And families treat each other with respect. They never, ever lie to one another. And did you cut in line? Come on, Mika. Let's go. We are all just waiting on you. Thank you. Now, what is rule number five? No cutting in line. That's right. Now go eat. I'm time. I'm proud of you. Thanks a lot. Nice to meet you. Nice to now. Uh huh. Yes, mom. I miss you too. Yeah, I know there's a job for me back home, but uh, things are going very well here. Morning. Well, it took the kids a little while to warm up to me. Yeah. Honestly, we are getting along great. I want you all to take a good look around at your new clean room. What ugly. Not the cups. Whatever. I'm not going to ask who wrecked it. <laughs> Eyes right here. I was hoping we could have fun this year, and I think that we still can, but only after you learn to follow all of my rules. And you will follow all of my rules. First of all, he a freak. 
Take your seats. Call me sir. Too many damn rules, man. Telling us how to do this and do that. Making us walk around in a damn line. He ain't my daddy. He could be your daddy. You don't know. You should talk, girl. Excuse me. Shut up. All I'm saying is, this is our school, all right? We do what we want. Yeah, because he's just going to leave anyways. That's what you said last week, girl. He's still here. You wait. Keep going. I hope not. What? I like Mr. Clark. That's because you're from a foreign country, and you don't know how we do here. How do we do? Do like us, baby. You want to be like us? You got to do like we do. Come on. Yo, yo, let's go, let's go. Yo, yo, let's go, let's go. Hey, hey, wrong part must go. That's really good. Shamika, you're really good at this. You did break rule number two. You gonna hit me, sir. You think that's funny? Shamika, you're in charge. What? What? Hey, Sean. Look, don't do this. Hey. Look, I know you have two strikes. You walk out now, they'll expel you for sure. Just get back in there. Why? Because I would miss your glowing personality. Mr. Turner doesn't have to know anything about this. Just give yourself another chance. Hey, you still cool with helping me move my new dress on Saturday? Yes, definitely. I mean, Jason would help, but you've got the fly blue car, so. This is supposed to be well done. It is well done. What are you talking about? It's rare. Fine, I'll burn it. Just take out the rest of the order. I know how to do my job. Congratulations. On what? Officially becoming a New Yorker. You ready? Oh, yeah, babe. I'll be right there. Okay. Well, you better go. Hey! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't forget the parsley. Thank you. Raquel Arenas. Raquel, do you have your journal? Mm-mm. Alita Sanchez? Shamika Wallace? Shamika, did you bring your Dr. King journal? Nope. Got no dreams to keep. Bad read? Julio Vasquez. Sorry, I couldn't get to it, boss. Why are you all doing this? Got better things to do, yo. Oops, my bad. Forgot to say, yo, sir. Guess I get a check. You want to get a detention? You know, I really, really like your nail polish. Thank you, my mama. Look at me when I talk to you. Not double bad. Another check. Look at me when I talk to you. Go to hell!
You win. You did it, girl. talk about it. Just show me New York. I've been here for three months. I haven't seen a damn thing. Today? All right, let's go see some damn things. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, I used to call it the entire state building. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Okay, you know what? We walked the entire island in a monsoon. I bought you three pretzels and two hot dogs. Now you're gonna do something for me. Anything. Tell me what happened. I shook a desk with a 12-year-old kid in it. I wanted to throw it and purr right out the window. Well, they've seen that kind of manga before. Well, not for me. I, I totally lost it. What, you feel helpless? They feel that way every day. These kids can do anything I'm asking them to do. More. They just won't. So, today I gave up. Don't give up, Juan. Oh, yeah? How long has it been since you've auditioned? I don't know. Two years and seven months. What? Broadway's not gonna miss me if I'm gone. Those kids, they'll miss you. Maybe you can be that one guy that turns it around for them. Mr. Clark was crazy mad on Friday, you know? I think he's gone for good. I say we should just all go home. Think so? Yeah. Well, thanks for your advice, son, but if Mr. Clark isn't in his class, I'm sure we can find someone to cover for him. Why we gotta do that? Good morning, Julio. Mr. Turner. Fool came back. Fool did indeed. What's he doing? He's crazy. Everybody take a look around. Within these four walls, you can be strangers or you can be a family. Within these four walls can be the end of your story or you can make it a beginning. A beginning that is better than anything you ever imagined possible. Since I got here, you have not listened to me once. Yeah. <laughs> so, here's the deal. Today, we are going to learn grammar. <laughs> if you are quiet and you listen, every 15 seconds, I will drink a chocolate milk. If you can do it, you may get to see me puke. <laughs> so, do we have a deal? Yeah. Okay. Good. Julio. Yes. This is not for you to eat. I want you to watch the clock and every 15 seconds, bang the jar with the ruler. Like that. All right. When I hear the gong, I will slam down one of these. The time starts now. Every sentence has a subject and a verb. What the hell's a boomerang? Shut up, Felita. I guess you guys don't want to see me drink all the chocolate milk. The verb expresses action in the sentence.
This sentence Anybody tell me the verb in this sentence? <sighs> Feels? Yes, yes! You don't puke now, Mr. Clark? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you don't think I can learn how to do that? <laughs> no. no. Okay, all right, I'll make you a deal. If I learn how to double dutch, then you guys gotta learn something from me. What? Everything you need to know for the seventh grade. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I so, we gonna jump? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Can you just go a little, a little slower? Nuh-uh. <laughs> you gotta do like we did. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Come on, man. You ain't dancing, you jumping. Oh, come on now. I'm gonna have that time. appropriate to do this with the students? Well, I'm certainly not going to double dutch with you. I am. The year's half over. I gave you this class so you could drill some big facts into their head. These kids are at the bottom of the barrel. Don't talk about them like that. Now, all I'm asking is for your students to pass. Oh, every one of my students will pass. What? I'm not going to pass. Good. They can become somebody else's problems. The problem isn't the kids. It's not even what they can achieve. The problem is what you expect them to achieve. You are setting the bar here. Why? Set it up here. They can make it. This community judges us by scores. Government funding judges us by scores. People who give me scores, they get my respect. OK, good. In May, they'll all test at grade level. <sighs> I don't see how this is possible. No, I'm sorry. Did I say grade level? I meant above grade level. Every single one of those kids in that class just wants your respect. Hell, I want your respect. You want my respect? Stop acting like a 12-year-old. I always wanted to go rock climbing, but there I was on the edge of this cliff, ropes on me, and my friends are yelling, jump, 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 and I look down, and it is a long way down. 
So I'm on the cliff and I'm yelling, I can't, I can't, I can't. And my friends are yelling, yes, you can, you can do it. Jump, jump, jump. And I did. I thought I was going to die. But when I jumped out, it felt like I was flying. I did something that I never thought I could do, and it was pretty cool. Now, you guys may not know this, but in this classroom, we're rock climbing every day. We are climbing up and up and up, and we are there, and now it's time to jump. Now, I know you're scared, but I want you to do it. I want you to jump. I want you guys to feel what it's like to fly. So, I want each of you to come up here and light one of these candles. Okay, come on up, guys. And when you light a candle, it symbolizes that we are joined together. And if you trust me, you can learn more than you ever dreamed of. And that's a promise. The Revolutionary War, industrialism, the Civil War, the Civil Rights Movement. I want you all to get the great big picture of American history. That's why this year we're going to learn all 42 presidents of the United States in order. No, no, no. Once you know the presidents, it'll be easy to remember what and when. Come on. None of you pass the test, and there is going to be punishment. I want you to pass these all around. <laughs> now let's get down to some presidential learning. We'll start with George Washington, straight from Mount Vernon. First president and commander in chief. Fought the Revolutionary War so we could be free. John Adams was second, Thomas Jefferson third. When we fought for independence, their voices were heard. When in the course of human events, we took the stand and we've been doing it since. It's a tribute to the leaders of the USA. It's a president's rap. All right, all right, okay, okay. It's a president's rap. It's a president's rap. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Tribute to the leaders of the USA. It's a president's rap. All right, all right. Okay, okay. All right, back to your seats. Back, back, back to your seats. Please. It's a president's rap. All right, all right. Okay, okay. O to the nizzle, R to the O to the nizzle, R to the rizzle, R to the O. Rickizzle? Thank you, Mr. Hart. Yep. This is my first A. You got an A. Good job. Shimmy Kizzle? Thank you, Mr. Clark. Yo, man, I told you. Oh my God, you got an A, too. Straight up. 
Now, give it up for your sizzle selves. It's okay to be proud of yourself for doing well on a test. Come on, come on, let's go. Oh my God, so we got number 13, right, right? You hold up for a minute? I wanted to ask a favor of you. Me? Could you empty your pockets, please? I believe this constitutes an illegal search, sir. Right on the desk. That morning at your house, your mother's purse? <laughs> no, no, you see, you got it all wrong. Me and her have this deal, you know? I take care of her and she takes care of me. You see? No, I don't. But you about to tell me that crime doesn't pay. Sometimes it costs. And in this case, three one-hour study sessions with me. For real. You should be working for us, little brother. Hey, see, make yourself some easy money, man. I got enough trouble. But man don't care about no kid. He's too busy to take you down, see, I'm telling you. Tayshawn! He had 5 old son? What's up? Nah, man, he ain't no police. He just uh, some fool, man. I handle him. Don't worry, y'all. I got yeah, some fool in a suit. It's hard. I don't trust that. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm cool. I wanted to bring you this. Here. If you bring up your math and English for some extra help, tomorrow's Saturday I could meet you at the coffee shop by the school. I'll buy you lunch. I'll be there at noon. Noon. Can I take that yeah. now? Yeah. Too bad he didn't show up. Two o'clock. I'm early, sir. Mm -hmm. Down for study session numero tres. Okay. Then we get three cards up on the fly. And then we get another two cards up. Okay, so that's five cards up. Yes. Can you add those for me? You know, we gotta bet first. I bet five fake dollars. Well, I'll call, and that's 36. That's good. Now, what's the square root of that? Well, oh, square root. Okay, I think the square root is... What number multiplied by itself gives you 36? Uh, six? That's good. <laughs> so what you got? A pair of sevens. Well, I guess I get all the chips. Because I got three cents. Oh, pay up, dog. <laughs> Wanna go again? Yeah, sure. Yeah, all right. Shamika Wallace, didn't we have an appointment after school today? You must have slipped my mind. We have to talk about you turning in your homework. I told you. The fire alarm keeps going off in my building. Three times this week? I get busy. I forget. Last night, I just didn't do a good enough job. Would you like to show me your homework? I'm sure I can help you with it. This is really close. We can fix this. Yeah? For reals? <laughs> sure, we can work on it right now. 
There's a few spelling mistakes. And just arrange some of the paragraphs different. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Benton. Mr. Clark, I, I can't work on my paper right now. I gotta go make dinner. I'll do it. You'll do what? I'll make dinner and you work on your paper. Oh. Okay? Okay. You start with that third paragraph. Okay. Hi. Okay. Where's the food? Dinner served. I'm trying to concentrate. Concentrate later. Dinner served. I tried like you said. I moved the third paragraph, and it sounds really good. OK, now, that's for you. And who gets the baby food? He does. OK, you're going to like this. This looks really good. Ooh. What's he doing here? He made us dinner. You don't think I can take care of my family, Mr. Clark? No, uh, yes. <laughs> Please, leave my house. I come home to find him in my kitchen, cooking for my family. This girl has a job to do. Miss Wallace, can we please not talk about Shamika like she's not in the room? I'll talk any way I want. Now, I send my daughter to school to be educated. I don't expect a teacher to bring school up in my house. It's called homework. Excuse me? She has too much of it to be babysitting all the time. Mr. Clark. Shamika has more potential than any kid in my class. Why can't you see that? How dare you? How are you going to tell me what I should and should not see in my daughter? I'm merely suggesting that you give her a chance. I'm taking my child home now. The white tornado here better not be teaching at this school when I bring her back tomorrow. Ms. Wallace, I can assure you, I will deal with this situation. Come on, Shamika. Please don't fire Mr. Clark. He was just trying to help me, Mama. He was just trying to help. It's, it's OK. Please don't leave because of me, Mr. Clark. Miss Wallace, wait. I'll meet you outside. Why are you doing this? You gave her these grand ideas and this world's just gonna crush her down. I don't believe that. She's just gonna drop into our life and now you know all about it, right? I just know she's a great student. A born leader, creative, intelligent. Shamika, my Shamika. Yes. If she tests well enough in May, I think we might be able to get her into Manhattan West for middle school. That's for gifted kids. Uh, maybe Miss Benton can keep the boys a little longer every day. Okay. Okay. Morning, Mr. Clark. Good morning. Layout, you do this? Good morning, Mr. Clark. You like it, Mr. Clark? It's hey, really Mr. good. You got quite a talent for this. <laughs> well, it's one of my minis, dog. <laughs> Sir. Thanks. Good morning. Would you like 
me, Mr. Clark? Yeah, don't hate on me because I got skills. Skills? You mean being a straight up punk? You real good at that. Yo, come on, Tay, just chill out. You telling me to chill, homie? You telling me to chill? Come on, man. I mean, Mr. Clark likes that art crap, okay? So he thought I did it and I just went with it. <laughs> Superintendent Stevens has joined us to determine if Tayshawn Mitchell should be expelled from Inner Harlem Elementary. I vote yes. Send him to juvie. This isn't a democracy, Mr. Brampton. Howard, would you let Mr. Turner finish what he was saying? You're his foster parent. You got the say here. We don't need his lazy ass around the house all day. What did you just say? <clears throat> Look, if we expel him, he's only gonna fall further behind. Mr. Clark, our students can't simply do what they want with no consequences. What about the consequences for Tayshawn? We are supposed to be keeping these kids in school. That's all. Just <coughs> take a step back. Remember that I have eyes in the back of my head, so stop fighting. This is not a test. This is my phone number. I want you guys to call me if you have any questions about homework, need any advice, or you are in trouble. That's 24 seven. Pick up your math workbooks at the front of the class, and we have a book report due tomorrow. Remember, there are two variables in this equation. Okay, so x equals, x, e x equals. Come on, Tayshawn, you can do this. Yo, know what you all up on me, man. Yeah. X equals three eighths. Yes. Oh, that's great. Just keep doing it like that. doesn't sound good. How long you been this way? I don't know, a week, maybe more. Well, you have pneumonia. I can send you home, but you'd be confined to bed rest for two weeks, minimum. Yeah, I can't, I can't, do, I can't do that. Or I can admit you to the hospital right now, Mr. Clark. Take your seats. <laughs> Mr. Clark, you look really white. Yeah, even more than usual. We have four, <coughs> four weeks. Now, I know that doesn't seem like a lot of time, but if we work really hard, I know we're gonna do great on these exams. <clears throat> so, let's go over our science topics from last week. Who knows those? <coughs> Magnetism, chemical reactions, and gravity. Okay, good. Gravity. Gravity is important because... <laughs> okay, we get it, Mr. Clark. Gravity makes you fall down. <laughs> Mr. Clark? Mr. Clark? Easy. 
hope he's alright. Good, you know what I mean? Yeah. Very nice of Jason to let me borrow the camera. Oh, he's happy to help. How much are we taping? Four hours. Four hours? Every day? Yeah, kids need it. It'll go quick. <laughs> For you. Hey, Maris. Thank you. Wait, come over here. Can't have our Mr. Clark looking all sloppy now, can we? You know, a guy could get used to this. Come on, seats are ready. Okay, now just because I'm on this videotape doesn't mean that I can't see you. Alita, is that gum? All right, is everybody ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gravity, the force of attraction between two objects. <laughs> that is gravity. Now, according to the definition of gravity, why did the egg fall? <laughs> because. And no, Julio, it's not because the egg and the floor are hot for each other. <laughs> Turn around and face me. The egg fell because the force of the mass and the distance between the egg and the floor caused the reaction. Okay, now, <coughs> get out your workbooks because I have to clean my floor. Morning, Mr. Clark. Good morning, Tisha. You have my kids' homework? Good to have you back. Not true. Yes, it is. I want my CD back What up, Mr. C? You tell me. You guys have one week till the state exams. One week to show Mr. Turner and your parents and yourselves what you can do. And you guys don't have anything you want to tell me? There's no way we're gonna pass those tests. We always mess up. And don't jump on us, man, sir. I mean, it's nothing personal. Everything we do in this room is personal. How we talk to each other, how we work together, and how we've prepared for these tests. But we're way behind now. We're not behind. You're ahead. Everyone thinks we're losers, Mr. Clark. No. You are not losers. These rules, they represent everything you've accomplished this year. Discovering new things. Believing in each other and believing in yourselves. And I'm proud of you. Compared to all that, this test, it's nothing. But Mr. Clark, we have to get certain grades to graduate, right? So what if we, you know, choke? But you're not going to choke. 
You guys didn't work hard all this year just to get ready for some tests? Every day in this room, we are learning things far more valuable than you can get in some book. I teach you. And you teach me. And together we learn to love to learn. So, next week, you're going to take that test. You're going to do the best that you can do. And you are going to walk out of that room and know that you can do anything you want for the rest of your lives. All right, tomorrow is the big day, but don't worry. You know the material backwards and forwards. So just get a good night's sleep and, you know, good luck. Federia, can I talk to you for one minute? And Tayshawn, can you wait for me at the door, please? I know that it's been hard for you to fit in, but you can be smart and still be cool. In fact, you're so smart and cool, you can do anything you want to do. I want to be a doctor. Okay, good. You better kick some butt on that test then, doctor. Thank you, Mr. Clark. Good luck. Tayshawn. Yo, kid, get it done. You know what I'm saying? Do this. All right. Hey, what up, T? Yo, little brother, where you been, man? We've been looking for you. Hey, yo, you forgot what's up? You check it. We got some goods. We gotta move now. Come on. It's raining, dude. Come on. Hey. Look, you can't be in and not roll. I right, can't be like that, son. I was thinking maybe we could walk to school together. We can do a last-minute review of the test on the way. Yo. You want it this way or in that way, payaso? Which way? Come on. That way. Huh. Okay, so when you get to the math section. Go get him. Good morning. Do not open your test booklets until I tell you to begin. Keep your eyes on your own paper. When you've chosen your answer, fill in the corresponding answer bubble completely with a number two pencil. If you require an additional pencil, please raise your hand and one will be provided. Do your best and no talking. You may begin. Think they're as nervous as we are? I'm not nervous. Fantastic. Thanks.
was 36. No, it was 32 apples, right? Yeah, that's as you are, Mr. Clark. Double mocha latte, no foam? Hi, come on in. How were the tests? Oh, uh, good, I think. I think the kids did pretty well. Yeah, okay, whatever. I'm freaking out. I got an audition. Oh my God, that's great. No, no, that's not so good. Jason got a job and he asked me to go to LA with him. I, I, I don't know what to do. Tell me what to do. I tell sixth graders what to do. And last time I looked, you weren't in the sixth grade. So, thank you very much for stopping by. closet <laughs> you guys have been working so hard for the last three months on this test and whatever the scores are I want you to know I'm proud to be your teacher I'm so proud that I asked your parents to let me take you somewhere special and they said yes so go get your envelopes and open them Shamika Raquel Oh my God, Phantom of the Opera, guys, we're going to Broadway. We are going tonight, so come get your playbills. Secret crib, and then and then he keeps it there, and then they find him. Well, I'm not gonna tell you. You find out. What the hell? You ruined my wall. I told you to paint that crap in the street. You can do whatever you want. You piece of garbage. Julio, Shamika, Raquel. I wonder what it's like inside. Okay, guys, go in. The play's gonna start. Let's go in. Come on, get in there. Let's go. I can't find Tayshaun. Go look for it, Mr. Clark. There's plenty of parents here. We'll look after the kids.
station. Sean. You be staying here for a while. Thanks, Mr. Turner. You're welcome. Hey, you're gonna be safe here. May take a while, Ron, but uh, we'll find him a place. I give you my word. So, which room was yours? I'll see you first thing in the morning. Yes, sir. For highest achievement in science, Badria Santhanen. Thank you, Mr. Chief. You are welcome, Doctor. <laughs> For most outstanding achievement in mathematics, Julio Vasquez. <laughs> For exceptional artistic achievement, Tayshaun Mitchell. And last but not least, Shamit. I'm sorry to interrupt your end of the year party, Mr. Clark, but I just received a fax from the Board of Education informing me of the results of the state exam. I felt it was important to give you the scores myself. These are probably not the scores you expect. This class, this sixth grade class, tested higher than any other class. You even tested higher than the honors class. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mrs. Clark. Very impressive. Mika, your award was going to be for highest achievement in English, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to change that because looking at your exam scores, I now see that you achieved something that no other student in the entire district achieved. Shamika Wallace, <clears throat> you earned perfect scores in English and math. Oh my God! 
didn't want you to be. <laughs> For inspiring us to dream big. Yes, sir, Mr. C. Yeah. Yeah. For looking like a fool when you double dutch. <laughs> <laughs> we voted you the baddest teacher in town. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Clark. Oh. <laughs> Let's get down to some presidential learning. We'll start with George Washington straight from Mount Vernon. First president and commander in chief of the revolutionary so that we could be free. John Adams the second, Thomas Jefferson the third. When we fought for independence, we had bullets for her. Saying, when it comes, I'll give you the best. We did this then and we've been doing it since. It's a tribute to the leaders of the USA. Is the president's rap all right, all right? Okay, okay. It's a tribute to the leaders of the USA. Is the president's rap all right, all right? Okay, okay. It's a tribute to the leaders of the USA. Is the president's rap all right, all right? Okay, okay. Quieres hablar conmigo sin vacilación. 